Today, Sarah and I are gonna make one of my all-time favorites, and that is lentil soup. My mom used to prepare it for us all the time. Did you know that lentils are legumes and they are packed in fiber as well as iron? We're gonna have some bay leaves, some rosemary, of course, some cayenne pepper, onion, some garlic, and what we did the other day, we had a wonderful picnic ham. This is the bone that was left over, some of the meat, and we are going to soffriggere, just kind of cook up a little bit of uh, um, carrots and celery, and it will be absolutely delicious. Here is what was left over in the bottom of the Dutch oven after cooking the picnic ham, and my husband was about to throw it away, and I said, oh no, babe, this is going to be absolutely delicious in our lentil soup. And what we did is we just dumped a bunch of ice in the Dutch oven. All the grease attached itself to the ice, and this is what was left over, and it's going to be so good. Now we're going to make some sofrito with this celery. And I just have to brag, my son made this knife for me, and love it I love that handle so we're just gonna cut it into pieces about this big you see now we're gonna peel the last carrot and cut this one as well into small pieces about the size of the celery maybe a little bit bigger and what's so nice about lentils is it's something that you can keep in the cupboard and pull out whenever maybe other ingredients are not available. So let's cut the carrot. So even here, we're going to cut the carrots into little chunks like this. And then next we will have to cut the onion. And now the onion, we're just gonna cut the ends off. Cut it in half and peel outer skin off and even this we're going to cut into small sections let me clean up the work surface and begin this we will saute in the olive oil and with the garlic and the rosemary So I'm gonna kind of thinly cut the garlic. And I'm gonna just take off the excess fat and then just simply tear it up like this, you know, into chunks like this to put in the soup. No, again, we don't have to use any pork at all. It can be totally vegetarian. We have brought some water to a boil and we're going to add some of this broth to it. The reduction I mean from the picnic ham and this we will add later to the lentils. I'm gonna give it a quick taste. Yep, salt enough. I don't need to add any more salt. Our oven is hot outside. We have been preheating the pan and now a bit of olive oil and the garlic goes in. I mean the onions go in. What am I saying? And the garlic, I wait just a little bit so that um, they don't burn. It's time to put our pan inside. And as you can see on the side, we just have a gentle fire going. There are no flames billowing across the top of the, the oven. So it's gonna be perfect to just saute the uh, sofrito. Mm, got a nice sizzle in here. We're gonna add the garlic to it. Here comes the garlic. Then we'll also add some hot pepper flakes. And we'll also put these rosemary uh, branches in. And put all this back in the oven. We added the celery and the carrots. We'll give it a quick toss. Another quick drizzle of olive oil. Toss it back up and back in the oven it goes. 
I believe it's time to get it out. Look at this nice sizzle going on. We're gonna add the entrails right to this. The entrails go in. We'll give it a quick stir. Place it back inside. And then we're gonna get it to sfumare with some red wine. So we'll put wine in there and allow it to cook out. Our lentils have been able to dance with all the other ingredients. And now the tomato. We're gonna let this cook out and then we will add our broth to it with the bone. Now here is our broth. We're also gonna put the bone in there. And as you can see, the wine has been able to completely cook out, sfumare. We're going to place it right in here. Oh, and if you could only smell how incredibly good it smells. We removed some of the rosemary stems. We're gonna put two bay leaves in. And now this amazing meat. That will go in as well. We'll cover everything up with the lid and put it back in the oven. Like we said before, you can totally make this vegetarian by omitting the meat. Once again, since the meat is so salty, we're not going to add any extra salt. We'll cover the lid up and back in the oven. And now we're gonna place it back in and there is going to be just a very gentle simmer. And we'll close the door. And in no time at all, we'll have an amazing meal. Let's pull our minestra di lenticchie out and peek inside. And oh yes, look at how beautiful and rich it looks. Mm, and the aroma coming out of here is divine. And here we are ready to serve our beautiful dinner with the Minestre di Lenticchie. Let's get it right here into the plate. Get a little bit of the broth and some of the meat. And boy, is this going to be absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna to top it off with a nice drizzle of olive oil. And to finish it off, we cut some lemon and we're just gonna put a little bit of lemon juice on here. And here it is, ready to be served. And I believe I'm going to have my first taste. Look how beautiful it looks. Buon appetito.